All right, so today I want to talk to you about Surge Graph. Surge Graph is sort of this all-in-one platform for creating blog posts and content for websites. Now, the interesting thing about Surge Graph is it tries to bridge the gap uh, from a workflow standpoint. So you can search for keywords within Surge Graph. You can do uh, AI writing within Surge Graph, and you can do SEO optimization within the, within the Surge Graph platform. Now, my focus today is just to take you through writing an article in sort of the shortest amount of time that I can. So one bit of housekeeping I want to get out of the way here is I am a Surge Graph affiliate. If you choose to buy Surge Graph through the link that is in the video description, I will receive a commission. Uh, but I do uh, use the tool. I have my own subscription to the tool that I purchased myself. So let's go ahead and look at the interface. Uh, over on the left-hand side, uh, there are a lot of different things you can do. We're not going to look at all of these today, but you can do keyword research. It's got a planner tool. Uh, it has a way to do bulk keyword research if you want to. Um, what I'm going to do is just start off in the, in the main screen here uh, to get the long form uh, AI writer going, and that's to put a keyword in and create a document. So today's keyword, it is definitely long tail. How do you deal with not showering while camping? Uh, but it is something that, you know, a camping uh, site, especially a new uh, blogger that has something in the camping domain, you know, you're going to be going for these long tail keywords to try to rank in Google. So it makes sense to show one like this. So typically, Surge Graph uh, says it wants to create a, an article between 2,500 and 3,500 words. Uh, we'll just leave it uh, at the default setting, and we'll click Create Document. And as you can see here, uh, here's the keyword, um, and it's extracting contextual terms and doing some things in the background. And then when uh, it's completed, we'll be able to start writing the document. All right, so it's finished. Um, just, to, just to give you an idea of how long that took, it probably was about a minute and a half before it finished running all, all of the uh, different things that it does in the background in preparation for creating this. So notice it says that it's untitled. So you've got your keywords here. It is untitled because we've got to create that title. And the very first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and look at this edit outline section. Now, for the in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, whatever default settings that uh, Surge Graph picks for this outline. So you can see, you know, it has an introduction, hygiene hacks, uh, how to wash your hair without water, all the way to navigating the challenges of not showering while camping. You know, the only thing that you might want to add to this is if I was adding topics, I might add key takeaways. I might add an FAQ, and I might add a conclusion. So those are things that you can easily do. So if you do want to add a conclusion, you would just enter that, type conclusion, and that becomes part of your outline. So after we've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Continue. And so what we want to do is generate this outline. And when you generate an outline, what's going to happen is there's going to be talking points, questions, and contextual terms that Surge Graph puts together for you for this particular outline. So we're going to click Generate. It takes a few seconds for this to work. All right, so it's done. And what you can see here is it does give you this little thermometer that gives you an idea of your topic coverage. And in this case, it says it's covered the topic 100%. And as you scroll down, um, there are a lot of things that you can do manually for each section. 
I'm going to leave everything at default. Here's what I want to say about Surge Graph. Uh, the one thing that I think this tool is good for is somebody who wants to spend time adding their personal touches to each section of a blog post. So I'm going to assume that probably a primary user of Surge Graph, they do have expertise in the area that they're writing about. They're not just generating a bunch of one-click AI blog posts and just posting them up to a website and sort of doing this pump and dump thing where you're hopefully going to get a bunch of traffic and maybe some affiliate sales, and then you don't care if the website dies. I think Surge Graph is really for somebody who is going to take the time to think about what it is they're writing and going through each section and seeing where they can add their personal anecdotes uh, and pieces of information based on their expertise that will make each section better. So the reason I say that is when you look at a section, you can add custom keywords, for example, if you want to do that. You can, you can add more talking points here. So if you wanted to add some additional talking points in the introduction, you could. This is where you might put a talking point that would be dealing with a personal anecdote of something that you've experienced while you, can't, while you go camping. You can add additional questions uh, in here too. What that will do is fill out the section uh, in greater detail than the standard default uh, AI writing that Surge Graph produces. So uh, I'm not going to go through section by section, but it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, if you are going to go in and write about your content and um, you're not trying to do blog posts quickly, you're trying to do blog posts thoroughly, meaning you're curating this blog post from start to finish. Uh, so that's all I'm going to say about it for now. I, I don't want this video to go too long, so I'm not going to uh, go any deeper into that at this point. So let's go ahead and do the start writing. It's going to start writing. And it's picked a title called Stay Fresh, Six Camping Hygiene Hacks. That's a pretty uh, interesting title. Like It could be something that people would want to click through on. I, I think I would. So I really like that title. As it's working... You see a little icon down here that's going, animated icon. Up here, you see the steps that are getting completed, eight out of nine completed, and boom. So we are done with the article. So notice, uh, whoops, it's got 4,033 words. That's pretty wordy. Uh, we may be able to go in and cut, cut some of it down. Uh, but it's a healthy article, and you just want to make sure and read through it. Make sure that it's not repetitive in some areas. If it is, you'd want to delete delete those pieces of text. Um, the one thing that I really like about Surge Graph is it's got tools where, let's say you select this paragraph, you can rewrite it. If it if it sounds too encyclopedic, you can simplify it. You can expand it. Uh, you can write it and add some contextual terms. Uh, the really cool thing is the expert command function. So when you pick expert command, you can ask it to do things like add bullet, bullet lists and tables. And I've even had it create um, comparison tables and that kind of thing. Uh, so uh, it, it has a lot of features here uh, if you really want to curate this blog post and, and touch every piece of it to make sure you're writing the best content possible for your blog, they definitely give you the tools to do that. Again, I'll go through these tools in a future video, but for now, let's just keep going down the path of uh, finishing out the post. So in this case, you know, you've got some tone, a tone of voice that you can use, um, I typically pick this radio host, podcaster, talk show host. It's a little bit more of a friendly tone of voice. So we'll choose that. Um, I'm not going to add any additional topics. 
I'm not going to add any additional questions. Uh, these are links that there that you can choose from to add into uh, your blog post if you want to. Um, these are all the contextual terms that have been used throughout. If you see something that hasn't been used, like camping shower, for example, that would be a great uh, contextual term to go ahead and add somewhere within this post so you can do that. Uh, and, there, and I'll show you how that works in a future video. So let's just pretend we're going to do one click. And now we want to SEO optimize this. So when you get into the SEO tab, you can scroll down and you can just pick auto optimize and let it go through and do all of these optimizations on its own. Uh, typically, you can pick and choose if you want to. I usually let it auto optimize and then go back and reread the article and, and adjust as needed. So it's analyzing the content and it will go through. Now, the one thing I want to mention is during the um, auto optimization uh, feature, when that this is running, you can't leave and go to another browser. If you do, it'll stop. Um, so that's the one thing I'll mention. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video. And when the optimization is complete, uh, we'll come back and finish out the video. All right, it's finished the optimization. And we'll exit the view. Now, its optimization scores of 52. So I've had some that have optimization scores as high as 73. Uh, I think the thing that I'm going to do is pull this into Neuron Writer so we can go ahead and take a look and see uh, what Neuron Writer scores this particular um, post. So we can see what a, a, a pure play SEO optimization tool thinks of the content. So we'll start a new query. There we go. How do you deal with not showering while camping? So we'll start this. We'll let Neuron Writer do its thing. And all right, Neuron Writer's done. Let's go ahead and click on this content query. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the default pages that Neuron Writer has selected for optimization against. So notice that it says the competitor's best is a 62. Now, Obviously, the algorithms that Neuron Writer uses to come up with a score are completely different than what Surge Graph comes up with. Notice Surge Graph says the score for this particular article is a 52. You know, there's not a direct one to one comparison between Neuron Writer and Surge Graph. The only reason I want to show you what it scores in Neuron Writer is just to show you. Uh, one outside SEO optimization source to give you an idea of uh, the quality of the article from that optimization standpoint. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab it. Drop it in, add the title. And the meta title. So this is the only thing that I see as an issue is the title that it's su su suggested is not the same as our uh, target keyword. So I'm going to include our target keyword here. I'm going to change this title somewhat. I'm going to call it this. So I'm going to change it to how do you deal with not showering while camping hygiene hacks. Now let's copy this and pull it in and add the title. So if we use the exact keyword phrase that we were targeting in Surge Graph and put it into our H1, like we did here, and we put it into the meta title, then we're going to outscore the competitor's best 
according to Neuron Rider. So the competitor's best score is a 62, we're at a 67. And so this is the only, I guess, issue that I have with how Surge Graph handled this. Personally, I like this title better, uh, but it doesn't represent the actual keyword phrase that we're targeting. So Neuron Writer didn't like that because Neuron Writer puts a lot of um, emphasis on using the exact keyword phrase somewhere in your H1 and somewhere in your uh, meta title. So that's the only thing that I would suggest is uh, in Surge Graph, I'm going to actually make sure I'm adding my keyword phrase somewhere in my H1 uh, in Surge Graph. So the last thing that you do in Surge Graph is publish. Uh, you can generate a meta description if you need one and use it. So that's sort of your one-click blog post type uh, uh, post in Surge Graph. Um, like I said, I think it's really for people who want to massage the content and do a lot with each section because they know their uh, particular niche. Um, they're an expert in it, and, and they want to add all of their extra content where they can. Uh, it, it is a little bit of a different type of tool. I'm going to run through the keyword tool that they use. Uh, I'm still learning uh, about the SEO optimization features. I've got some questions right now. Uh, into Surge Graph to learn more. Um, but the bottom line is, uh, I think for the right kind of person, uh, it's the right tool. So if you're really a writer, I think it's a great tool for that, if that's what you're really into, because it offers so many features. Um, the only thing that concerns me is, uh, to be quite honest with you, is some of the H1 titling that it uses. Uh, that's a concern for me because obviously we saw when we pulled it into Neuron Writer and we used that exact match keyword phrase, we were really able to bump up that score where, we, where we're at a 67 uh, just by using the exact match phrase. Although I don't like this title as well, I do like the score better. I just want to quickly show you what the pricing structure is like. Uh, I happen to purchase this one month plan. I go month to month. Um, they have some great deals right now on, on the 36 month and the 12 month plan. My only thing is I purchased it on a month to month basis just because I have a lot of tools that I need to test. So uh, I hope you found this uh, helpful. Um, there's a lot of things going on in Surge Graph. I wish I could have shown you every in and out, but it was just going to get too, the video is just going to be too long if I did that. Uh, I've got links to Surge Graph uh, and Neuron Writer in the video description. And again, just full transparency, I'm an affiliate for both. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.